Hello, everybody. Are you looking to update your home decor without breaking the bank? Well, our first guest designed a million dollar penthouse, but today she's going to show us how to get the same designer look for a whole lot less. And joining us now to help us design on a dime is Concilium Home Designer, Laurie Coton. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much for okay, having me. Okay, so we got to talk about this million dollar okay. penthouse that you designed. Yes. Tell me about it. Well, Take me there. Take you there. It's just an amazing penthouse. Not only the view, but also each room, how it flows together. The lighting is amazing. Each individual piece is just the best. Now, that said, not everybody has a million dollars to spend on a budget for interior design, but you can still have it look like that. But how do? You, but for people though who are working on a low budget and maybe they don't have your expert eye for design, it's kind of overwhelming. Because unless yes. you're starting with a blank slate, a right. lot of us may just want to sort of update and freshen up our existing look. So where do we start? You know, I think it's kind of like having a recipe. You need to you need to find a picture, or you need to find something that you really like and try to emulate it. Yeah. So find your inspiration. Find your inspiration. Interest is great for this, by the way. Okay, good. Pinterest we is overwhelming Pinterest. for this, by the way. Yeah, but you can search, I mean, looking through oh, living yeah. rooms, you can find design inspiration. Right, and house is really good too. I mean, you can find inspiration everywhere. In a hotel you go into, or a store you go into. You know, it's the elements, the individual elements that really make each room, but you've got to have a plan. That's the thing about using a professional interior designer that makes it work is you have a plan to go by. Now, when you go out to all these various shops, you might see things that you really like that might be inexpensive or on sale. Don't just get it because it's a good deal. Get it because it goes with your plan. Oh, exactly. Okay. So let's start with the living room. Let's kind okay. of go there and, okay. and start first and kind of start getting that. Oh, wow. This is this is just like Derek, ultra modern. I love it. It's so minimal, <laughs> so clean looking. It's a huge room. And we decided to do it with this floor plan so that they had a lot of people that they wanted to entertain and they wanted them to sit there and entertain for a long time. So light and airy, very modern. Light very and airy, very modern. Now, the thing that was interesting about this is that the, the male part of the, the marriage team likes very clean cut contemporary. The wife in this group likes color. She I can see it in that rug color. right there yeah. going you know, into the dining room. That's the other thing about doing a, a design in your own home. Don't be afraid. Have a splash of color. Have something that's different, that's exciting, that's daring. But if you're scared to do that, do you start with something, say, like it looks like right there, that they did maybe their shades or, or draperies in a color? You know, I mean, you could, but you need to think about if you do your draperies in a color in a room like that, that's what you're going to see. That's going to be the focus. Well, exactly, because what I take away from this room is very monochromatic. You look at the right. big piece, of the, so the wall color, the draperies, the ceiling, yes. the floor, the rug, and even the sofas, they, they're all monochromatic. Yeah. But then I like how you've worked in those pops of color throughout. And, and that's the thing. You know, we spent, in here, again, the budget was not an issue, but we spent on things that were comfortable. Most everything in this picture is Italian-made. Um, it's Roche Boubois sofas, it's a Knoll bench, the Murano coffee table. I mean, Laurie, they're all amazing. Let's but, move on to yeah. some of these other photos, and yes. then we're going to get to some of these money saving okay. tips. This is a media room, you Wow. Have to yes. Yeah. Ooh, with um, those dark curtains to block out the light. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's just, it's amazing. And again, here it is the, the combination of. Um, something that's clean cut and elegant, soft, well made, but also the splash of color. Um, and and where do you start in a room like this? Do you do you start with the, the purple rug and build from the base up? You can. Or do you, or do you get a bigger piece like the sofa and then build around that? You know, really, I think in a room like this, you know, my vision was to have something again that that still transitioned from the other room. So you have a sofa that's that's pretty neutral, um, and you can either start with the rug or you can start with the drape. That's See, a look, pretty tall I, ceiling. Yeah, too. when I yeah. when I look at something like this, I go, okay, those colors. When you're using those darker, richer colors, you automatically think, whoa, that's big bucks. So is that kind of a way to maybe bring in that expensive look? Yes, and and that's the thing. These, of course, are custom made. The the ceilings, like you mentioned before, are really tall. You you don't have to have something that's custom made. Let's take a look at the master bedroom okay. that, uh, that you have in this next photo. Sure. Um, I want to live in this penthouse. Uh, me too. I know, me too. <laughs> 
<laughs> so it looks like this photo got squeezed it's a, a little, little bit. Squished. Um, but, but we still get the same idea. What is that on the walls? Maybe a grass cloth? Y you know, and I think that's what really makes this room. The, the wife really wanted something that was comforting. She enjoyed sea colors, just soothing room. And so in here, we have two layers of draperies that, that close, depending upon how dark you want the room. But I think the thing that really makes it the most warm is the, is the wallpaper. Yeah. It's grass cloth. It's a hand-woven dongia, um, large-scale raffia. Now, granted, that's not inexpensive, but you can get um, just a, a normal kind of a grass cloth, or you can get a vinyl. You know, some people don't like that. And the other thing, well, too. Well, that chandelier, that oh. was probably a pretty penny, I'm sure. Well, you know, and, and that's the thing. I think the, the thing that really helps is to figure out what it is that you want to spend on. It doesn't have to be everything. It can be, like in that room, you could spend on a chandelier if you found something that you love. Because if you love it, you're always going to love it. Well, and also, a lot of the pieces we saw, I'm sure the, the furniture in this home is much more expensive. A lot. But so many vendors now, like Target, Home Goods, yeah. Overstock, have really figured out that consumers like a very clean, contemporary style. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, and that's the thing. I mean, you can go down here to Highland Village, and you can go to you know West Elm. You you can go to Pottery Barn, Restoration Hardware, over to Target. You can go to Home Goods, um, Bed so Bath many, & Beyond. And so many designers nowadays are partnering with, say, like a Target and, and doing a more inexpensive right. line right. of their look. Absolutely. I mean, you can even go to Ikea and get a pretty nice looking sofa that could emulate the sofa that's in that one room. So again, it depends on what's your budget. Figure out what your budget is and how you want to stay within it. And then if you really need a piece, like with the sofa, if you're going to use it a lot, um, if you really need it to be comfortable, you know, spend your money on that. And then get the other and ancillary around. pieces. And I like the chandelier advice, too. Spend yes. money on the chandelier, fill around. Okay, okay. you've got some uh, wallpaper samples and yeah. also some carpet samples. I do. Just a couple minutes left, but I want to okay. be sure we see what you brought. Okay, so these, these are um, grass cloths, and there's just... An incredible so this variety. This is like what we were seeing uh, this one right this here, is, like in the this bedroom. This is basically what you were seeing, but it's a lot less expensive. So how do you, where do you find the less expensive version? You know, <laughs> again, you can go online. You can go to some of the paint stores have wallpapers. Um, you there's know, also what about the faux wallpaper stuff. The faux oh, wallpaper. Yeah. There's a website called Wall, uh, Walls Need Love. Wallsneedlove.com, yes. yeah. and they have a ton of the vinyl wallpaper that you can stick yeah. on, and nice. it's less mess. You can take it off easily. And that's the thing. I mean, even mm. for the backs of bookcases to add some some an element of interest to it. Again, be interesting. Don't just do what you see everywhere. Be interesting. You can add something like this. There's some that are are easy to take off. There's little templates. I mean, there's all kinds of things. Even Target take. has the stick-on yeah. vinyl wallpaper now oh, too. Yeah. What do you Target's think about the, the shiplap craze? Of course, Fixer Upper. You know, Joanna Gates. Everybody wants the shiplap. Craze. Grace. Shiplap is really neat. You know, I've done that before in lake houses where you don't use any sheetrock. You just use the shiplap. You can um, you can paint it. You can leave it rough. Um, you can rough it up. I mean, you can do so many things. You could also it. imitate the look. Like this morning on the Today Show, this woman got pieces of lumber and put them together I'm and sure created a easy. headboard. Yeah. So if you wanted to create your own shiplap look, you could go to the lumber store, Absolutely. cut it, put it on the wall, Absolutely. right? There's so many things that you can do. And I think the bottom line is follow your plan. If you have a recipe, follow the recipe. Okay, so I think one of the hardest okay. things to do is the carpet. I mean, it, yeah. it, it, it's such a focal point when you walk into a room. Mm -hmm. How do you go about selecting the right carpet for That's you? That's a really good question. It's hard. Um, it is hard. You know, I think with this one, it looks, you know, it's pretty wild. These are all Hokanson Scott Group carpets. Absolutely stunning pieces. Each one of them, we've chosen our own colors to use, and they've, they've made them for us. Now, the thing is that there are a lot of different outlets, again, online and in town that you Floor, can go to. Floor, F-L-O-R .com. Oh, yeah, Just right. together squares. Yeah. I have them at home. Yes. I love them. They're great. And the thing about that that's really great is if you have a dog or if somebody spills a lot. So Pick one up. See, like, this, one, this one's <laughs> my favorite. somebody spills a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the, the shaggy one over here that kind of takes me back to the 70s, but yeah. way upgraded and luxurious, right. that's not for a dog. So you got to kind of no. think if you're going to no. have you're going to have a dog, you might want something and else. That's but thing. I love it. You need to think about how are you going to sit. Does anybody sit on them? Does it need to be soft? Does anybody spill a lot? What's the what's the atmosphere? Is it at the beach? You know things like that. How are you going to clean it? There's just a ton. And so back to your question, how do you choose? You choose on what do you want the focal point to be in your room. 
And this great advice, by the way, sadly, we have to leave it here because we're out of time for today's show. But uh, we've got to point out that Laurie does answer questions every Friday during her Facebook Live segments. So if you have a design question, uh, direct message her and send it her way. You can also find her on social by using the handles uh, that are down there on your screen. Yeah, great. Thank you Thank so much. Thank you, so Laura. Yeah, this was great cool. you today. Beautiful penthouse, by the way. <laughs> Thank okay. you. Coming up next, we're sipping champagne, mm. yay, and sharing how to pair bubbles with grilled summer meats. Stay tuned. All right. Okay. Thank you both. That was.